Oke okay, guys, setelah match panas hari ini antara Evos melawan Geek Fam dan yang pastinya RRQ menang lawan Onyx, gue sekarang akan nonton sesuai requestan kalian Blacklist versus Echo Buset. Inilah pertarungan match papan atas Super Big Matchnya Filipin. Jadi Super Big Matchnya Filipin itu terdiri dari tim Echo, Blacklist, Aras G udah pasti juara MSC dan Omega. Kalau di Indo tuh ada Araki, Onik, Evos sama Geek Fam. Nah, kalau di PH nih udah pasti yang top 3 nya lah bukan top 4 Echo, Blacklist, Aras G Aras G lagi parah sekarang, lagi ngeri juga Kita lihat dari draft di sini, waduh Yawi pakai. Ini gue gak salah lihat, Yawi make Valir guys Buat, buat nge-counter siapa? Apakah dia pakai Valir nih buat nge-counter Arlord? Atau Alis? Atau dua-duanya? Atau buat nge-counter Faramis? Faramis juga bisa nge-counter sih Kalau dilihat dari draftnya sih menarik ya guys ya Ada ada ada, ada Valir di sini Harusnya nonton dari draft sih biar tahu sih dia pick Valir itu buat apa kan ketahuan kan musuh udah pick apa baru pick. Kalau dia pick Valir setelah musuh pick Arlot mungkin buat Arlot. Kalau dia pick Valir abis itu musuh baru pick Arlot ya itu berarti bukan berarti uh, bukan buat counter Arlot karena Arlotnya di picknya belakangan dia pick oh, Valir duluan. Paham kan maksud gua? Blacklist Echo Echo sih masih kuat banget guys Sanford, Benny Kuti, Cartizzi, Sanji Masih dengan roster juara dunia M4 Sanford gila Di zaman orang-orang udah gak pakai Yuzong Sanford masih bermain Yuzong ya guys ya International sekarang tuh meta tuh cloud Melissa cuman di Indo juga Cloud bisa dikalahin tadi kan Menarik, menarik. Little too close for Echo. Yeah, I mean again. Oh, Cartizzi makai Lancelot lagi, anjir. Oh, baru sadar gue ya. Cuman dia, ya Lancelot tank sih. Cuman tetap aja guys. Kalian tahu kan? Di dunia ni, nomor satu Lancelot bahkan udah diakui di Indonesia dan Filipin sama kayak misalkan Cloud dan nomor satu tu si Skillar kata Mas Valdi di dunia. Cuman kalau ini kita semua dah sadar lah. Lancelot nomor satu dunia bukan Kairi, bukan Albert, melainkan Cartizzi. Kalau Link Albert, Kairi hanya bisa masing-masing ada hero ni guys. Menarik gue bilang Ya tapi namanya Filipin Udah pasti gak ada pertarungan gila Ya kita lihat untuk early game nya Masih kayak gini aja santuin dulu ya kan Farming farming dapetin objektif Perangnya cuma di turtle Kalau gak di turtle di buff Kalau gak di Eh perangnya di objektif doang Karena contohnya nih Orang Indo pasti misalkan di bawah tuh udah perang tuh Arlot sama Yuzong terus alis yang ngegame Kalau Filipin mah santai banget mainnya gue liat And now Yawi gonna be stunned up and will be taking a lot of damage. And so far, so many ultimate and stun. Wise is low and he goes down. That's gonna be two kills for Echo in the first four minutes of the game. Very advantageous for Kautizi, who's now positioning himself into the turtle. Eh, Sanford, am I Edward? Again, we've been talking a lot. Sanford should be fine. Kalah ya guys ya. Or is he? Oh my Venus is waiting. Yuzong lawan Arlot. Sanford is gonna be alive. Kautizi secures the turtle. Edward is not gonna be reaching Sanford who recalls in time. Eh, Yuzongnya nggak pulang, cok. Sumpah, Yuzongnya nggak pulang ini. Sumpah. Oh, ya, sedikit. Zone ya. Yuzong oleh Arlot ini. 
jadi most pick banget buat offline guys Arlot untuk di Indo tuh masih make bukan masih sih sesuai yang tadi gua sama Mas Paldi bilang bayar pajak gitu emblem tenacity take advantage of like those two kills and at the same time the extra mm -hmm. gold that they get from the minions and also the turtles that have been taken is something that would place them in the lead blacklist international you're absolutely right there that they're just trying to react into what is actually happening around them in the map what echo could possibly give them as we take a look at the items right now it will indeed be that attacks it out that we've been mentioning from quite some time and the rest of the members of blacklist international are still lima menit kill dua <laughs> Ada pertarungan nampak di sini guys. Juzongnya bahkan beli sepatu Magic Crisis. Dia nggak peduli bayar warna marlot. Penting di teamfightnya dia bisa lawan Valentina, Alice dan Faramis. Tinggal nunggu turtle sih guys. Arum plastik. Early game. Early game harusnya menang. Oh ya, we might be in trouble. Gue gak tau sih Ini Arlotnya gila Arlotnya menang lane Saking menang lane yang menyuzong ya Dia sampe Kemit Membunuh Yawi Menang timnya Sanford kalah move sih Untuk game kali ini Sama Edward Sanford scouting wise Pops the ultimate Double snag coming out from over in Venus Kautizi goes in But the turtle belongs To Weiss And he's gonna be Got it down Kautizi Jelek buat Jelek Bumping into that Pops the ultimate just to get out It's gonna be safe for now. Final hmm, stash not gonna connect. Ole, Even ole, some of those ole, avengers ole, pops. Ole, as Kalti is, is masterful with the thorn rose. Weiss gets out and black blacklist gets the turtle and gets the economic lead. Masalahnya dia tuh ada stun gitu. Jadi ngegeng bareng dia juga enak. Karena ada stun nih. Off lane yang punya stun tuh pasti enak guys. Apalagi off lane yang punya stun tuh pasti enak guys. Apalagi off lane yang punya stun tuh pasti enak guys. Off lane yang punya stun tuh pasti enak guys. Itu pasti off lane yang punya stun tuh pasti enak guys. Almost dying, but Weiss might be trouble. The frag is on the bit in time. Weiss is gonna survive. Oh, no, 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 Ampe ngeliat aja make Petrify Edward does have the final stash this time Carl Jeezy, my god Look at him go, touching everything Edward will go off of the flicker Gets out and takes out Carl Jeezy But will be punished It comes to him with a stolen better there Strike, Yowie going down Double kill Oh, shot triple kill anjir As Blacklist International Just has the right ultimate usage One extended team fight after another We actually managed to see, you know, Echo started it off strong after the initiation by the side of Blacklist International but because of the retaliation and fight back that was brought about by Edward's arrival take a look at this instant replay right you're already missing wise in this team fight but that final slash caught into three Edward pays the process but still Blacklist International leads that one just because they managed to get more heroes mungkin late game sebenernya untung sih offline untuk jungle itu tapi kadang-kadang ada gak untungnya ya kalau emang udah late game dan emang tugas offline untuk Cuman untuk match segini masih untung Benefiti bahaya Benefiti bahaya Diperangin oleh Eko, Cok. Oh, lumayan tai ya guys ya hero arlot ya lumayan fortunate for weiss he got knocked off by the lord skill and automatically even when carl tz was actually away from the fight in which he's actually closing and now he was able to get the lord but still edward edward baited into that spot with carl tz starting the fight once again 
everybody's confident in this game. This is uh, lumayan gila ini Arthur. Okay. This is a brawl basically at this uh, point. Tengok right? itemnya dia lagi kena distract gitu. Dia bikin item Mercury Hammer habis itu full advance. And goes on we're going to see it more and more especially with the way this lineup for Black International works. And now their job is to just hold down the mid lane. Oh, Sanford going next to Omai Venus. Omai Venus goes down very early on. He wants to go for more, but he had to jump. Ngamuk gini ya, kok. Backwards, as Yue is going to be threatening for KO Carl Tizi. Actually steals on the orange buff. We'll Game 1 sih peperangannya boleh-boleh ya. Free puncture stack. And he's now safe. Something that we actually haven't seen in the past few minutes of this game is Benny QT. Benny QT has been living his best life onto the gold lane for the first five minutes, which is why previously, as we've seen the items and the way the itemizations actually went, he already has that golden staff and also securing the other kinds of uh, extra items here for the rest of the marksmen. As we take a look at the player gold here, you have both Benny QT and Super Red being the anchors of offense here for the side of Echo and Blacklist International, but even so. So for Echo, you also have Sanji to assist actually in the offense that is being brought about by the Orca. So at some point, those three assists, even if there is only a minimal amount of kill scores that was given in this matchup, it would really be very vital and crucial for this match given that there's a lot of team fights going on and those AOE skills really matter in every second in every matchup. Yeah, especially as the game transitions, right? Now, the amazing thing too is how Benny Cutie has managed to have this good of a time on this con because <laughs> originally I thought Black Desert National with what they had, especially the first three picks, they yeah. could easily dive and shut down Benny Cutie, uh, not have him pretty much have just vacation mode. He's far Dia lagi nunggu Lord crazy. doang ini. So now that's another component they have to worry about, especially their timing yeah. on that cult altar usage, right? Because he's going to use that blazing duet alongside Sanford and Sanji. The burst potential is huge. And Yaoi's job at this point is to pretty much just either push everybody yeah. back or <laughs> exactly. just maybe land some stuns with the fireball mechanics, yeah. right? And that works so well in their favor around these objective uh, takes. So it comes down again to who's going to win those retri retribution battles. We know both junglers mentioned they're going to try their best. Well, now it starts here because already Echo, comfortable lead. They did grab that first Lord. And with this dance started up. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice he's jumping in. Sanji has to commit the flicker. Already oh. comes. He's going to be stunned up, but will dodge with the foreign rose. You see why he's picking up the winter truncheon and ready with the ultimate. Tengok, tengok. Almost unlimited now. Not popular. Oh, no. still play. Hilang, hilang. Black 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 towards the left. Ultimate but they're going to be stopped by the Siri Torrent. In comes UI with eh, the damage of the Yowie. Comes in the back lines. But look at that. The final slash connects up to do. Turunnya Stop where he wants to fight. Sustains himself. Does have the dragon form. Now be able to survive. Wow. Called TZ low. But Kenapa pops the thorn rose. It's going to be safe for now. All my Venus left. The battlements of Echo, but the rest itu. of Blacklist International are controlling the Lord. It seems like the dance is going to favor Blacklist yeah, as Carl is very low. The Lord going to be in favor of Y. Sanford so low. They'll be taken up by Yue this They're time. Going. The stack onto Sanji, and he goes down as well. Carl okay. wants to stay in the purple buff against Weiss. On the other side, Benny Giddy versus Edward. It's going to be the claw to menang, win it. Menang, Yue going to chase it down. That's what the damage is. So next up to Yue, he takes him out. Double kill for Benny Giddy. Apa itu? Despite losing that Lord Anji, Battle, so Cutie, the Lord Ngebunuh so Edward. Valentina juga mati anjing. What play Benny Cutie. With an answer, just Menggila so nih orang. Couldn't maximize the opportunity of having this Lord without UA, without Edward. There's not going to be a lot of possible pushes in macro gameplay that will be available to the side of Blacklist International. But even so, it is a wonderful macro mechanic that came from the side of the agents. They've managed to just pull away and try to dish out as much of damage as they could. But they need to also worry about Benicuti because slowly but surely, this clot is slowly becoming a problem. You know, not not only to talk about Benny Cutie here, but the fact that Super Red is kind of having a very similar situation on this Moskov pick. You know, he hasn't really had to do too much, right? <laughs> uh, just because of the way the game has unfolded yeah. at this 14-minute mark. But as we get further on, especially with Benny Cutie just picking up this malefic roar, oh no. we're, we're going to see more La, of these salah, fights, and it's going to come down to those micro decisions on how are they utilizing these ultimates? How are they utilizing uh, even their battle spells, right? And how that all falls into place now. But if you look at just the previous Lord fight between the two teams, uh, not my an item damage sama sekali Lancelot right? guys. They actually took dominance of that area. They got all the resources they, they needed out from Echo. 
and then they just dominated that whole space. What a oh, look at that. Yaoi going to be pulled in after the flicker. Oh, he goes I'm down. Now, Carl DC wants to make something happen, uh, happen out of this. That that oh, going for the damage as well. Ben Akili with a blazing two way. Now they take a Yue. Oh, maybe he's going to be safe for now. Ben Akili is low. Weiss is chasing on him. Can he look? No. The sprint is gonna save Benicuti for now. Parami si ultinya si lumayan counter draft Echo ya. Dalam artian ke Yuzong all in, Cloud all in, cuma ngebuang satu ulti Faramis. Lumayan nyebelin si Faramis tank ini. Bisa jadi tank juga mengcover. And at the same time, Blacklist International couldn't really go for the team fight because their main weakness, even if their strength is sustained, is the immense amount of damage that Benny Cutie is actually posing. And for the side of Echo, we're starting to notice that the scaling of Yaoi is slowly right. coming to a close. This is very unfortunate for him because this is not the usual, you know, setup type of hero that we actually are accustomed to seeing Yaoi use and do. So at some point, Echo really needs to find the pokes necessary first before they could go ahead because there's still the cult out to worry about. After the cult out are you also have Wise that is actually sustaining and Super Red starting to get his items. So Echo needs one quick matchup here and one quick, you know, ultimate work of art just for them Ooh. to unleash what is needed. In Blacklist International, they're slowly positioning into the Lord. Yep. We're back to this point, right? Okay. Another showing. <sighs> oh, it's going to be half health here. So quickly, half health. Oh, my Venus going to be spotted out. Very tanky hero, though. Does have the immortality. Call TZ. Getting the aggro of the Lord. Call TZ, ma. Alisnya, dua-duanya cuma ngagro ngagro. Lord, jadi di Lord itu pertarungan jungle guys. Sisanya nyari move. Jadi nggak ada tuh yang namanya offlaner atau apa pegangin jungler musuh. Ini benar-benar pure jungler satu lawan satu nih. Wah, oh dapat dapat. You see what I'm talking? This is exactly what I'm talking about. The way that Black International kind of zones out Echo here, oh, waiting kenacho. for the moment. Yaoi yeah, already flickering Wah, out. Wah, udah buang flicker sih, Joes. Jelek sih ini. Valirnya nggak berfungsi sih di game ini, gue lihat. Nggak berfungsi sih. Jujur-jujuran aja. To at least contest this and the rest of the team here. Kalau dek lihat yang di bawah langsung mundur nih. To Echo langsung mundur. Final slash again connects to Yaoi. Blacklist langsung ngegas. He goes down indeed. You wait. Now gonna be put low. Send for no to the backlist. Connecting on to two. But that one is gonna be pop. Kalti is here. Rata, rata, rata. Ma Echo sumpah. Rata, guys. Eh, memang mereka udah mati. He is gonna be very low this time. Gonna be chased. Kalti Z. Can he use shot, shot, that let puncture, that extra Wait, mini puncture? Map, mini map. Not gonna be enough. Meanwhile, Oh My Venus gonna be running away from Sandford. Oh, mati, Benicuti mati, mati. suddenly is here. Sebentar Takes dong, out Oh My Venus. Oh, and that's a bonus. Come out from Mekko. Mereka mau dapetin mid. Nah, bisa sih, ada Farami sih, guys. Blacklist International will stay alive for a little bit longer. Paling blue buff, paling blue buff. Terus, as I was saying, Lord. Benicuti was down bot. He made his way up. If he was Bottom there, lane-nya juga mega creep. Hati-hati. Ini sih, hati-hati. Kena Megan. Bottom lane-nya. Bottom lane-nya. But still managed to get that. Tapi kalau ngomongin Filipin sih harusnya paham makro ya. Langsung mundur. Jadi enggak enggak sampai minionnya di bawah baru teleport. Mereka langsung teleport sebelum minionnya bisa nyentuh base. Itu makro yang lumayan oke lah. Kadang-kadang Indo tuh masih oh minion nyentuh base baru. Gua teleport itu salah satunya. Full full tank banget ini si Edward. Full tank. Both having five turrets available, or both having five turrets taken down, and all inhibitors are still intact. It's funny because every time. Gamenya jadi game lama nih. Satu kali perang rata-rata, enggak sih. Dia ada Faramis ya. What the heck, gue nanti gue. Ada Alis juga dia, guys. Harus perang di luar. Eko harus perang di luar, guys. Mereka ada Cloud, ada Farsia, ada Yuzong. Kalau perang dalam turret sih ya... Sorry to say, bro. Dia ada Faramis, Arlot, Valentina. Lima-limanya hero high ground. Blacklist. Eko, hero perang, di luar, ganyang. Makanya kenapa tadi di luar Eko menang kan? Karena mereka banyak banget hero yang ngarah ke Moskov tuh. Marsha, Cloud, Yuzong, Lancelot. Menurut gue Moskovnya harus sabar dulu sih. Bahkan gak boleh kelihatan di map ya kalau menurut gue. Jadi yang nge-damage dulu si Valentina. 
Karena ini Moskovnya pasti banget guys, pasti di EW ini di tim fight nih. But they've got to be able to play around the lead that they have. Waduh, waduh. From Blacklist International, go Jesus of Dash, but on the back lines, that is going to be Waduh. And the rest of the gang, oh, ultinya lumayan gagal. Waduh, rata sih, rata, 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 rata. Rata, 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 di luar, di luar terlalu kuat. Di luar terlalu kuat, guys. Perang di luar terlalu kuat. Edward, di solo kill. Ama Valir. Then a Valir can actually take on an Ardot. Oh, really bad case. Oh, Edward with the output. The end. Yeah, we go stop, but that's it. Off time. A psycho. A classic play. Straight into the base. Tim satu menang Eko ya, guys ya. GG sih. Rapi banget. Perang mereka tahu ini kondisinya apa ya? Menghilat tim Filipin yang bakal jadi lawan kita antar di Sea Games dan di MSC. Betul.